the work that I do because I'm looking to bring forward groundbreaking new thinking around how human beings innovate together. I spend about a third of my time thinking and researching, um, a third of my time delivering and engaging and working with clients, and a third of my time um, educating people about what it is that I do, promoting what I do, making proposals and selling work because I, I work for myself. And so my day usually fits somewhere into that pattern. So sometimes my days might look like I'm at home looking to produce a white paper on a particular um, topic that I'm that I think my clients would be interested in. So I do a lot of research and then I begin to synthesize that and I do a lot of writing. And a th typical day might be me researching and writing. And then another typical day might be that I'm going down to a client and I'm working directly with them. So I would come in, I would have probably meet with the CEO of the company. I'd have a, a coaching session with them where I'm helping them think about their um, innovation strategy and their partnerships and alliances with with them. Um, uh, different people in their ecosystem that they work within and helping them also be a better leader for their people, coaching them on some of that. So that would be, you know, an hour conversation meeting with them. Then I would probably go and um, work with one of the teams that report to them um, and help further the strategy that we have talked about in the meeting that we know we want to execute on and that I'm helping them do that um, and really engaging and encouraging their people to step up. And that might be a design meeting. It might be a coaching meeting for an individual. It might be a training session for a team of people who want to understand how to be able to um, make stronger commitments to each other so they can deliver more value across their network of commitments in the company. So that might be a couple of hours there. After that, I would probably go and meet with someone from Human Resources. Um, with most of my clients, the people from Human Resources are very supportive of what it is that I'm doing. And I work very hard to make sure that I'm in alignment with them, that I communicate with them what I'm doing, um, that there's if there's anything that I can do to align with their leadership, in-house leadership training, or if they don't have in-house leadership training to help work with them to build that. Um, so I have a lot of conversations with HR people and, and uh, have a lot of respect, particularly for the visionary ones who are looking to really improve people's ability to be able to lead. So probably would do that. Um, and then probably would spend some work doing some um, writing up some presentation or some materials that I am have agreed with someone during the day that I would do for them. Um, so sometimes I'm documenting the outcome of meetings or putting together um, a PowerPoint presentation to help them think about some of the things we've discussed. So I'm sort of acting like a catalyst for some of their thinking. And they would then come in and add to that. And together we would build a presentation that they would then present. So I would do that. Um, and that would usually get me to sort of four or five o'clock when people are kind of done for the day. And then I'd commute home, probably listen to a book on tape. Fantastic way to be able to really kind of expand your knowledge. Um, and then I would probably do an hour or two's worth of work at home in the evening, whether it's reading that I need to do for myself, whether it's returning emails and phone calls to other people who aren't that specific client for that day. I have a home office. Um, which is my space, my office. It's got a lovely library. It's got a nice desk, view of my garden. Um, and uh, I thoroughly enjoy working there. Super comfortable, super easy to work, get loads done. And I'm very disciplined about the way that I do it, mostly because I've been doing it for so long. Um, I'm up in the morning at, you know, five or six. I might go exercise for an hour or two. Uh, and then I'm usually at my desk by about 7.30 or 8 o'clock, sometimes because I have conference calls with somewhere else in the world. Um, and then I usually work through to about 5 or 6 o'clock, stop, have some supper, and I'll go back and do a couple of hours work.